Ever wonder if your body is trying to tell you something? Those little annoyances all over your body, whatever it might be, I will talk about it. You've been ignoring before, whether it's brittle nails, cracked lips, flaky scalp, and much, much more can be your body's way of waving a red flag. Today we are looking at the top seven most common subtle signs that you might be missing, a key nutrient, and how to fix it, how to fix each and every one of them very naturally, fast and effectively. I will talk about that. Let's dive in. Number one out of seven, and it will get more surprising yet in terms of fixes, more powerful as we are progressing in that video. Number one is brittle hair and nails. Brittle hair and nails might seem like a beauty issue, but very often it's a signal of a biotin deficiency, vitamin B7. While of course thinning hair, there is some degree of of genetic factor, right? I don't have the fullest hair in the world also, I have to admit. But a lot comes down to nutrients. Biotin helps make keratin, the protein that keeps hair and nails strong. Without enough biotin, hair can thin or break and nails can become dry and split easy. So what is the fix? Of course, biotin-rich foods like eggs, beef liver, just one egg a day already can make a big difference. Plus, Plus, biotin helps convert food into energy, so you'll feel overall, of course, a beautiful boost from introducing these foods to your diet anyways. Number two, crack corners of your mouth. Interesting, right? Now, if you had that, but if you have it, you should listen very closely to that one. Cracks at the corners of your mouth can mean you're low in riboflavin, vitamin B2. Riboflavin is essential for turning food into energy and it keeps your skin healthy. If you are not in getting enough of that, you may develop those painful cracks and they don't heal very well. If you are taking the supplement, it might color your urine yellow, but if you're just taking it from Whole Foods, it would not. Um, the supplement is not a bad thing, but it just doesn't look nice in the urine. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Have more riboflavin-rich foods is the fix, like dairy or lean meats or fatty meats or anything. They are usually very high in vitamin B2. Even a daily glass of milk, if you can stomach it, if you can digestive or just one egg as a breakfast and of course have more eggs than that um give you enough b2 to actually fix that number three bleeding gums many people have that it's actually a sign for much much more you have to floss your teeth of course that is a big big thing but here we are focusing on whole foods fixes right so uh, bleeding gums when you are brushing your teeth is a classical sign of low vitamin c but i definitely want to mention that flossing your teeth should be the the first line of defense here but um, yeah low vitamin c especially if you're on a high carbohydrate diet can be dangerous if you're on a carnivore diet you don't really need that much vitamin c to begin with right um think of scurvy sailors who went month without fresh food often had swollen bleeding gums and vitamin c is needed to make collagen which keeps your gums and blood vessels strong without enough gum tissues weaken and they bleed more easily so the fix would be vitamin c rich foods like oranges kiwis strawberries berries bell peppers and these kind of things right it really depends on your macro composition if you are on a carnivore diet to begin with it's very different if you're on a keto diet your need for vitamin c would decrease also naturally and so on and so on right your gums will definitely thank you that is for sure number four persistent dandruff step on dandruff or greasy flaky rash on your scalp might hint to a vitamin B6 deficiency. Vitamin B6 is involved in many processes, including maintaining healthy skin. When B6 is low, you can get dermatitis, inflammation that often looks like persistent dandruff on your scalp and even on your face. So what's the fix? Increase your foods rich in vitamin B6, especially animal proteins, chicken, turkey, fish, salmon, tuna, organ meats. All of these are actually great choices just look out for high quality ones if you prefer plant options which i do not but they can still work for some add some chickpeas or bananas to your diet getting enough vitamin b6 clear up these flakes very often and um, even they improve your mood and your energy so now let's get to one which i will have to focus on also especially due to genetic factors and that is hair loss lots of hair falling out can be linked to low iron levels iron helps 
helps your blood carry oxygen to your hair. Without enough iron, your body sends what little oxygen is to your vital organs first, leaving your scalp short change. And that can actually trigger extra hair shedding. What's the fix? Obviously, iron rich foods, especially red meat like beef, lamb, for highly absorbable O iron. If you don't eat any meat, which I think eat meat is amazing, especially the grass fed, grass finished, pasteurized one. If you don't eat any meat, then you can eat stuff like spinach or beans, but then spinach comes with incredibly high oxalates also. Personally, I really think that um, animal based foods are definitely the best fix for that, but make your own research, of course. Um, but that is something I definitely wanted to mention here. Number six, bumpy skin. Tiny, rough bumps on your skin, on your arms, like you know this once. Maybe you heard about it, maybe you have it yourself. Many people actually have it. That's often called chicken skin. It can be a sign of a vitamin A deficiency. This condition, known as keratosis pilaris, forms when keratin builds up and clogs hair follicles. So this is a problem I luckily don't have to deal with. My diet is very high in vitamin A, but it should be not too high. You have to take care of potential vitamin A toxicity. So if I am mentioning the quick fix here, you have to make sure that you're not eating too much of some of them. Eat foods rich in vitamin A. Top sources are animal sources, of course, like liver, egg yolks, dairy, and they give your body very high absorbable vitamin A. Um, on the plant-based side, you have carrots, sweet potatoes, pumpkin, and so on. If you are eating liver like I'm doing it, don't eat like half a kilogram of liver every day. You get very quickly into the vitamin A toxicity, and our ancestors never had that much liver available to begin with. So maybe half an ounce, one ounce of liver could be fine, right? Um, and then you actually covered all the vitamin A needs easily already. So number seven, swollen neck. Swelling at the base of your neck is known as a goiter. Often means that you have an iodine deficiency and iodine deficiency is very prevalent uh, nowadays in our society. Iodine is quite crucial for your thyroid to make hormones that regulate the metabolism. When you get too little iodine, the thyroid works over time and swells up, creating that neck bulge. So what is the quick fix? Eat more iodine-rich foods. Seafood is a very top source. Fish, shellfish, seaweed, like this avocado fried seaweed I'm eating. Maybe you see it on my, on my channels. Also dairy products. And also surprisingly, eggs actually provide some iodine too. Can use iodized salt, but I prefer to focus on things like eggs and seafood. And also sometimes I'm eating some seaweed. Let me know what is your favorite one in the comment section down below. And of course, very importantly, subscribe to the channel and watch this very important video. Like this one and we will see you at the next one of MM Health. And as always, guys, as always, bye bye.